Hello, in this video, I'll explain to you demand, supply, and market equilibrium. I have already uploaded a YouTube video about the law of demand and law of supply that you can check it at any time. Here we're having the demand curve and the supply curve. And as you can see, we can reach a certain equilibrium, which is the intersection between the demand and the supply curve. And we're having a price of equilibrium, which is P1 at $4. It's the price that equates the quantity demanded with the quantity supplied. As you can see also, we're having Q1, 300, which is the quantity of equilibrium. And it's the amount that people are willing to buy and sellers are willing to offer at the equilibrium price level. In case we're having a price higher than the price of equilibrium. Here, it's for the interest of the sellers. So sellers, they are willing to sell at this higher price. So as you can see, at the price of five, the quantity supplied, it's 400. However, the quantity demanded, it's 200. So the quantity supplied, it's greater than the quantity demanded. Thus, we're having a surplus. In the second option, we can have it's when the price it's below the price of equilibrium. Let's suppose it's at three dollars, and here it's for the interest of the consumers, and this is why they will consume more. So at three dollars, the quantity demanded it's four hundred four hundred, and the quantity supplied it's two hundred. So as you can see, the quantity demanded, it's greater than the quantity supplied, and this is why we're having a shortage. In order to better understand the market equilibrium, we will introduce the rationing function of price. And it's the change in market price to eliminate the imbalance between quantities supplied and demanded. The term rationing is often associated with shortages. However, we will include surplus situation as well. The first example we're having, it's the market of Moringa. New studies suggest that Moringa is having too many health benefits. And this is why people are willing to buy more Moringa tea. And this is related to taste and preference, which is another uh, or non-price determinant of demand. So here what we will have, people they will demand more and we will have a shift in the demand curve from D to D prime. If the price stays at the price of equilibrium, which is P star, you can see that the quantity demanded, it's greater than the quantity supplied. This is why this will encourage the suppliers to increase their production. However, in order to increase their production, they have to increase their price. So here, the price will increase, leading to greater quantity supplied. And since the price increased, the quantity demanded will decrease. And this is why we will reach a new point of equilibrium with P star prime and Q star prime. And as you can see, the price of equilibrium, the new price of equilibrium is higher and the new quantity of equilibrium is also higher. We're having also a second example, but here we're having a new technology that it was implemented in a certain production process. And as we know, new technology, it means more production and it's a non-price determinant of supply. This is why we will have a shift in the supply curve from S to S prime. Here also, if the price won't change and it will stay at the P star, the price of equilibrium, the initial price of equilibrium, the quantity supplied Q S prime will be greater than the quantity demanded. So we will have a surplus. Since we're having a surplus, it means the suppliers they are unable to sell their production. 
what they will do they will decrease the production and also they will decrease their price in order to encourage people to buy more this is why we will have a decrease in price and decrease in quantity supplied this decrease in price will lead to more consumption this is why the quantity demanded will increase and here also we will reach a new point of equilibrium however with a price of equilibrium less than the initial price of equilibrium and a quantity of equilibrium greater than the initial quantity of equilibrium thank you for watching this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for future videos